Hi, my name is Eric Trach and welcome to this tutorial video. Today I'll show you how to quickly set up Facebook Connect on your site. It allows people to quickly join your community without having to register on your website. To see the list of Facebook Connect features, let's go to the back end. Okay, so let's input the login details, I already have mine. Let's log in, navigate to components, jump social configuration and then Facebook Connect and here on your right hand side you can see all of those Facebook settings and Facebook uh, Connect features that your users can use on your website. So for example you can import the whole Facebook profile on the first sign up, you can add the watermark to the avatar, you can automatically re-import users profile upon each login. This uh, you, you may want to have this on in case users change their profiles on Facebook, for example they change their name when they get married and so on and so forth. You can automatically re-import the avatar, users avatars upon each login, so if they change it on the Facebook uh, on their Facebook page, it will also get changed on their Jump Social page. Of course, you can import users' statuses from Facebook and post new statuses to Facebook. And those are the options available. For a site to be able to use Facebook Connect, there are some requirements. Uh, some can be checked in your Joomla system information, other you will need to consult your hosting uh, support about. So let's see what we actually need for Facebook Connect to work. So let's click requirement here. Let's scroll down to find Facebook. And these are the three that you need to have enabled on your site in order for Facebook Connect to work. Let's check those. The first two you can check in the backend of your Joomla by clicking site, system information and navigating to the PHP information tab and I do realize that there's a lot right to check here so let's just use the search function CRL and that is available and enabled on my website the second was GD library and that's also installed enabled on my website you won't be able to check the last one the last one in the backend of your Joomla but you can get the information whether it's available or not from your host so contact your hosting about it if you have any doubts okay now let's go to developers.facebook.com this is the website you need to go to in order to create an app that's gonna be used for Facebook Connect let's navigate to apps and let's create a new one I'm gonna call it my awesome community and it's a valid name so that's great let's click continue as usual Facebook likes to present us with some hardcore captcha so you don't if you don't get it right for the first time don't worry VPW HUD I believe that's what it says Okay, so Facebook uh, took us to the uh, edition of the Facebook app we've just created and there are some fields that are absolutely crucial for the Facebook Connect to actually work and those are the name of the community of course, the contact email I'm just gonna input all this necessary information as we go so the email, the site where I have my Facebook Connect on right and only the domain right only the domain or the subdomain so that's okay and what is really important also is the site URL and don't forget about the protocol HTTP or HTTPS and let's save changes okay so the changes were successfully saved and now how does your Facebook Connect know which app to connect to and this is the answer we have the app ID and we have the app secret and these, this is the information we need to copy and paste to our jump social configuration so let's start with the app ID just select it and copy it and paste it into the Facebook app API key and the app secret to the Facebook application secret field and let's save changes okay so the changes were successfully saved now the last thing 
you will need for Jump Social Connect to work is a plugin and a module. Those are available in the Jump Social installation package. The contents of the installation package are gonna be covered by another tutorial video, so I'm not gonna dig into it right now. Let's go to extensions and extension manager. Let's find the files that we will need to install. The first one is a plugin that's called Plugin Jump Social Connect, and we're gonna install it real quick on the site. Okay, the next one we need a module that's module jump social connect pretty much the same name so it's easy to remember and let's install it okay great that's also installed successfully let's just make sure that the module and the plugin are enabled on our site enabled and the plugin connect is enabled great okay so we've done everything that should be done in order for Facebook Connect to work and now let's see how it works on the front end as you can see nothing changed here yet let's refresh the site okay and as you can see we have this nice sign in with Facebook button let's just click it real quick I want to log in with Facebook yes I do allow okay I am a new user to the website, yes. Hmm, my name. Let's say I want to use a nickname. And this can be changed real quick. I want to have a username. Let's call myself Sentinel Freak. And my email. Let's change it to something else. And let's create the account. Yes, I want to have my status and my avatar imported. Let's just click continue. And ta-da! As you can see, my avatar, status, personal information, that personal information that I wanted to add to Facebook, were all imported from Facebook to our Jump Social page. I hope the video helped. And if you have any questions, please go to our forum. The link is visible on the screen.